Hello, my dear friends. Today, a uh, very beautiful uh, plot. I really like it. And uh, I want to unpack now for you to demonstrate what we actually have inside. Uh, you can see this is a cotton box. Uh, it has some instructions uh, on the back side. And uh, I already unpacked it before. Uh, let's see what we and, uh, uh, it's uh, the rules how to mix. Yes, here we have to mix colors. Also, there is some tips. We will check it later. Uh, here we have... It's a cartoon, right? It's uh, slightly textured. Uh, by the way, let me check. I want to be sure we have a sound. I can't hear any yet. Okay, now I'm absolutely sure we have a sound. On uh, to paint uh, this uh, dimensions, uh, paint by number kit. Mm, dimensions actually are most famous about uh, their needlework, but also their uh, production, producting. A really adorable painting by numbers, right? Uh, so. I just opened it before uh, without uh, sound, so I want to demonstrate you box again because here we have some uh, tips on box and here we have, this is very important, don't throw to the garbage can uh, straight away because here you have the big painting and you can easily um, orientate what you're going to have in the end, right? Uh, also, what we have here, this is the main, uh, uh, the main surface where we go into paint. This is a cotton. Uh, it's have, it's have a brush on back side. That's uh, the bad idea of dimensions, actually. I don't like it. They fix a uh, brush on the back side of the uh, cotton with a type and see, I, easily, I can't easily uh, take it off. Uh, so, you can see here areas and numbers. Uh, Nice, uh, very, very good uh, looking and uh, sharp edges, nice work. What else? Brushes of dimensions I like. They are good. We have here two boxes uh, of um, paints. Let's open it. I like how they pack it. This is a paints. Uh, they have numbers uh, here and also here. You can check what color here, for example, it's uh, number 11, 11 here, right? Uh, and um, you can check mix, how it's going to mix together, because here we're going to have a mixing, of course. There is a mixing rules. Uh, we have the numbers here. For example, this is 11. This is 11, right? Uh, but also we have uh, signs. What signs means in uh, this kind of uh, paint by number? For example, D. You have to check. D means you have to mix number 1 plus number 6. Number one, let's open another one. Oh, nice colors, really bright. Number one and number six, it's going to be bright, bright yellow. Very easy. Today, we're not going to mix yet. Today, we just want to start and understand from what part you're going to start to create this beautiful, beautiful painting. Also keep this uh, paper uh, because here you can 
orientate to check what colors and where you have, right? Uh, the process of paint by number extremely easy. Okay, there, there is a brush, kind of nice one. Uh, very important thing from what part to start and uh, all beginners always have a doubts about it. Uh, of course we want to start from most interesting parts of painting. This is a lovely bird and a really really beautiful flower. But I have to say, first we have to complete background part. Why so? Because uh, if you will paint small detailed objects first, and after you will paint this huge background areas, you will for sure go on top of finished, uh, finished uh, elements. Uh, that's why I highly recommend, really highly recommend to complete um, background first. And by the way, here on a background areas we have these uh, dots right? Uh, we have two types of borders. It's a solid one and it's not solid one, uh, looking as a dots. Uh, what does it mean? That means we have to blend here to make really um, nice and smooth colors here. Let's start, right? I will start from uh, number 11. Here it is, and basically work going really easy because uh, this is a carton. It's slightly um, it's looking a little bit it's slightly textured, looking a little bit as a canvas, and uh, in the end, I really like this effect, and I think um, dimensions was so smart with the choosing of a surface of work because um, when we are painting on a um, canvas, canvas have a pores and um, paint easily going through the pores and sometimes it can be difficult for people who just starting to paint. So I for beginners, I more recommend dimensions than um, uh, standard, you know, usual uh, paint by numbers on canvas. Here we have some uh, canvas texture as well. And what I also like uh, about dimensions, um, painting after it's uh, getting dry, it's absolutely matte and it's looking really gentle. If you don't like matte effect, that's not a big deal. You can use any varnish you like. For example, you can uh, choose glossy varnish or uh, satin varnish uh, and in the end you get effect you like, right? Uh, but matte um, acrylic colors looking really gentle, really interesting and uh, it's not blinking, you know, uh, some glossy varnish have an um, issue about uh, angle of uh, view, it um, have a spots of light on it, right, so um, effect. Nail like, what I like about it, it's steel, it smells, you know, um, if you ever tried to order uh, paint by numbers, for example, from uh, China, from AliExpress. Sometimes uh, it has slightly chemical um, chemical smell from canvas or from dyes. Here, never. You know, I already uh, complete a couple of them, a couple of uh, this kind of uh, uh, paint by numbers, but I never had any issues. And I like how uh, dimensions working on plots. They mostly working with a really famous artists. Uh, for example, it's a Kincaid. Um, it's a 
master of uh, beautiful landscapes and uh, they working on details. I also like another company which is um, Shipper. They also working very nice with the original painting. They repaint it and making it more use for beginners because uh, it's very uh, sometimes it's very hard to complete Chinese paint by numbers because um, it's half too sharp and too small really too small areas to paint uh, because uh, Chinese companies using just uh, uh, after medical transferring they not um, they not uh, inviting any artist to you know for hand rework repaint um, for hand um, preparing paintings for beginners uh, you can see now I hope it's visible the area I just painted it's almost dried right see no not leaving any marks on my fingers but um, color not really mm, smooth it's have some spots on it because colors are very very thin dimensions making right very very thin uh, and sometimes not with all shades but with some shades we have to paint uh, same areas twice but uh, also uh, I wanted to show you today the first uh, way of um, blending colors because again we have a blending work here blend and blur uh, and hopefully you will see now this area it's number nine number 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 nine yep yeah. here it is it's a light blue I'm back. Uh, look, I'm not using any water on my work because it's not safe. I'm working close to computer and also I have a small kid. Uh, now she, uh, he is, he is uh, four. He really likes to help mama to complete her uh, paintings and a big uh, cup with water it's not not just not safe on a table because he can run to me play with me and um, you know everything on a table water everywhere i don't like it and i um, found another tip i want to share with you i'm using just uh, wet wipes just the wet wipes to clean my brush it's very easy look right so that's it brush absolutely clean of course after work is done you have to clean it with water but uh, in a process of work we don't need a water at all and now look we covering we covering area number nine here it's only one layer and here just one layer with blue that's it very easy uh, when you're painting try not to leave any areas of uh, not cover it uh, surface because here lines lines and signs and the numbers you have to cover it completely right because because after work is done this painting will look not as a paint by number but as a really a masterpiece now uh, I have to wait a little bit till this um, small area will dry completely uh, because today we will uh, blur colors with a technique calling uh, over painting 
And uh, this is a technique that uh, Dimensions actually recommend to us to use on all their paintings. Not all plots have to um, needs to blend, to blur and blend, but some of them needs. Uh, you can understand easily from the box because they have lots and lots of paintings. Today I uh, choose this one because, you know, I was dreaming about this bird for a long time and it's a present for me for uh, my birthday. I really like it. So, look, this is area we are painting now and it's looking really smooth here. So, if you're checking for any uh, dimensions, kids, check carefully. If you, uh, if you can see any smooth blended colors on a box that's mean this painting have blurring and blending needs right oh, let's continue paint oh, what I also like about paint by numbers because I you know you can check my channel we also painting uh, the uh, usual usual art pieces but uh, with usual art piece for example for acrylic or for watercolor you have to plan your time it's uh, not less than one hour one hour usually right uh, but here uh, you are free to plan your time because you can spend 10, 10 minutes you know everything so easy to stop you just close the uh, container with the paint you just clean your brush and that's it you can go and do your usual uh, things you need to and I think for um, people who have kids as, <laughs> it's me I have two of them and uh, I can't uh, sometimes I can't uh, spend more than uh, 30 minutes more than sometimes it's 15 minutes just I can't to start uh, any um, acrylic or a watercolor because uh, I will have no chance to complete it right in this small time but here is just a small pieces you do, right? Small and small, but in the end, after, I think after one week, we will have this painting done. Uh, now, uh, I will open, I think I will open the blue, the blue, yep. Mm, usually I'm mixing, I'm making more liquid color here. Uh, here, see, this is a main uh, container and this is a cup. Uh, but here now I have a lots of uh, dye, so let put it in the container. That's it. Now we will make the uh, over painting blurring. So we have to clean it almost. That's it. Let me clean my brush. Mm -hmm. And you have to wait a little bit more because I have to bring just a small amount of water. And I'm back and uh, I want to show you how much water I bring actually it's almost nothing and uh, when you're working and you don't have to demonstrate it you can even have less right just a little bit I will put it here because it's visible 
What is other painting? Mm, actually, I checked instruction here. Mm, yes, uh, techniques. The explaining. It's a dry brush here. Uh, but I can't see clearly the uh, overpainting. It was for sure for my previous uh, dimensions kit. They explained that uh, we have to take small amount of paint here. Now put here one big drop or two, three small drops of uh, water. The uh, idea is now this acrylic paint half transparent because we made it more liquid. It's now less pigment but more water. And you have to put a little bit here and look I'm going now on the area where I painted before with a number 11, right? But bef uh, between 11 and 9 I have not the solid uh, line but dotted line with the small dots. That's it. I put it here. I clean my brush and blend it completely and that's it. Now you can see, let's let's check it after. Area completely will get dry and we will check if we need another layer of overpainting. We're doing overpainting now, right? Put, clean, blend. And now two areas have no uh, sharp border between. Uh, I know already this uh, acrylic painting uh, paints very well and uh, I can tell you um, they are half transparent by itself and now we uh, made it even more transparent. So uh, to make it really smooth and good looking usually uh, we have to put two or three layers of half transparent color put clean blend we can blend two ways we can blend blue to uh, violet or we can blend violet to blue usually I'm doing both ways here it's already dry and we can make it again I will get a little bit more uh, normal color without water because I already told you uh, paints of dimensions little bit transparent by itself as all normal acrylic trust me uh, professional acrylic uh, dyes even more transparent sometimes there I have to put like uh, six sevens layer to uh, create solid layer of color especially uh, it's let's make it more, more watery that's it and again another layer I have a rule of myself uh, you can go with blue to violet area not uh, more not wider than uh, half of it right till here but don't blend it till the end of violet area or we uh, will lose the violet uh, color at all, right? It will be mixed on the whole area. Uh, it's not hard work, I can tell you. It's so easy. 
everyone can do. Uh, beginners things. No, let me show you. Ah, what I else like uh, about dimensions. Look, now we're only working. Somehow I see some internet issue, but uh, I think now everything is okay. Okay, uh, it's easily uh, possible to, you know, your own uh, set of color you're working at the moment. I'm just choose colors I need. And I can work with it now. Very easy, very easy and smart system. I just need to make it all the way. That's it. 9, 11. It's a violet one. And here I can see some half transparent spots. So I want to create more solid layer here. And this is, it's already flower. So here I have to be careful, not go with the violet to the flower part. This area I already like here, but here you can see, you can see this is a kind of not well blended colors. Mm, uh, you know, I have lots of brushes. Uh, For example, I want to see uh, to show you this one. Uh, I have a lot of brushes, uh, and uh, if you have a chance to uh, get another brush here, dimensions only um, uh, put one brush in the uh, set. But I recommend to buy another brush that's have more wide size, bigger size, it's flat, it's synthetic also. Uh, I will put link in the um, uh, link below to show you where I got this one. Uh, it's just more, you know, uh, fast, it's more fast, faster work. Look, I took a little bit of color, put here water, right and the strokes I'm putting now it's just more mm, you know better looking bigger in size here everything now more smooth and good looking because of the size strokes bigger and it's looking more accurate in the end I told you we can uh, blend two ways. Violet to blue or blue to violet. I already demonstrated to you. Blue to violet, let's do another back way, right? It's a violet to blue. What to do? I took the same brush, put a little bit of water in a cup, Put here also a little bit of dyed here, more violet color, and blend it more careful. That's it, area absolutely smooth. The result you only can check after uh, areas getting absolutely, completely dry. Only after it you can check if uh, you don't need any blend anymore at this area and move to another areas that need your attention that's it for today guys because uh, i have to run my little kid already uh, walking up and uh, i will uh, continue uh, tomorrow uh, i'm painting every day um,
After one week of work, we will create the whole uh, beautiful painting. It was a painting cat. Bye-bye. Wish you all the best.